Okay, well here we go. As you can see, we got the maple syrup here. Hydrometer test. It is me of meeting the red line. Actually, the red line's above, so it's a little bit thicker than it needs to be. We got the uh, filtered hot syrup right here. We just poured it through. And while it's hot, we're going to ladle it into these bottles. Unfortunately, left-handed. See how this works. Hmm. Well, let's move that boy. That's hot. Oof. Hmm. There we go. Okay. I filtered this, I think, twice through paper. Well, filter paper. And right now it's it's boiling. Well, there we go. Okay. One bottle. Get our nice new little caps out here. Move that over. Get another bottle out. You know, you touch these things when they're hot. And your fingers are sticky. God, you can never get the, uh, never get your prints off, barely. That's some nice syrup. Not too dark. The more you boil it, meaning the, the, the lower your sugar content is, from whatever, whether it's your trees or whether you're letting your sap sit and deteriorate before you boil. The harder you boil and the more you have to boil, the darker the syrup is. So light syrup is really definitely the purest and I would say the most flavorful. Um, you know, you can find a lot of maple syrups that are really dark and they're rich and robust, and that's great. But, you know, the early syrup you get from the first part of the season, you boil it soon, it's very uh, light amber, and uh, it has a lot of vanilla in it. It smells like vanilla for some funny reason. Um, and it's quite different from, you know, dark, heavy syrup you get because it's not the sugar content that makes it dark it's just the impurities and the color changes you get from temperature of, of boiling for such a long time at least that's what I'm seeming to figure after the, all this couple of years of doing it and there we go look at those huh beautiful just beautiful. Right out of the forest. I've had people ask me, look at it and go, what do you put in to flavor it? Or, or what do you add? Do you, do you add anything to it? I'm like, my God, you struggle to keep it as pure. Keep every little piece of bark and sap knitter and keep it so hot that while well, you bottle it, that you know, it burns you just so that it's as pure a product as possible. So that's the answer is, no sir, there's nothing in it but what you get right out of the trees. Although, did I just see a little piece of something? Keep that bottle perfectly clean. I get a better method for that. Ah! Get those on when it's hot. A little bit of sugar on there, it's quite a seal. Alright, how are we doing here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're doing alright. We've made more than last year. I think we made just about two gallons. 
And that was, uh, it must have been about 100 and, 150 gallons of sap. really completion, you know, when you think about it. Finally getting it hot, sterile, and into the bottle. Alright, well let me stop this thing. I can finish what I'm doing while it's still hot.